This classic four-wheel drive in comparison captured the hearts of old and young around the world, the Willys Jeep. Nineteen forty and the Second World War rages in Europe, and the United States of America sees itself compelled to enter with all their might. Initially, they don't participate directly in the fighting, but deliver resources to the Allied troops. One recognizes the need for a lightweight transport vehicle, and a tender is launched. The Willys Overland Motors of Toledo, Ohio, USA, presents the most convincing concept. The first 16,000 examples of the four-wheel drive vehicle are constructed and immediately packed and shipped for the use on the front. The American Army insists that this mass-produced product is supplied by two manufacturers in order to avoid complete production failure as a result of air raids. This leads to the fact that the company Willis has to give Ford the Jeep plans and patents and so, almost identical vehicles also run off the assembly lines at Ford. The robustness and off-road capability justify the legendary reputation of the Jeep, even though the average lifespan in combat is only three months. Those examples that survived the war have a good chance to turn gray in honor. Moreover, with the end of the war, production doesn't stop. So after the war, Willys Overland no longer presents just vehicles for military use, and one can buy an off-roader for civilian use. By the grace of a late birth at the end of the 40s, this model was spared the war effort, a civilian model which was trimmed visually for the military decades before. Even today, after 60 years after its creation, the Jeep convinces off-road, and due to its small external dimensions, it can easily be steered through the narrowest obstacles. The powerful, high-torque engine also contributes nicely as well. Gears are changed using a three-speed transmission that drives the rear wheels. And when required, the driver can switch to all-wheel drive. Otto Bussinger has been a die-hard Jeep fan for many years. He has restored a number of models, and this one is almost perfect, a multifunctional car. You could say I have an SUV and a classic car. It allows me to go shopping when needed. I have an open car, even a sports car. And I can even save on a motorcycle with sidecar, because the Jeep is the only car where I sit on it and not in it. I can do everything with the thing, although I'm not completely weatherproof, but for that you have another car. One can also do this without this, maybe. The body of the Jeep is unmistakable. In the original tender, one put great emphasis on low weight, and the pragmatic design was born as a result. Luxury in a vehicle that was primarily intended for military use was, of course, incidental. Seating comfort can be described as tolerable, and the seat can be adjusted, but only with a wrench. Big plus of the Willys is huge ground clearance of about 20 centimeters. And this car won't get stuck in the ground that quickly. If it does, there's the axe and shovel. A long four-stroke engine runs under the hood of the classic Jeep. The side valve engine with a 2.2 liter displacement is a Willys development. Originality fanatics pay attention here to every little thing. All details up to the hose clamps and spark plug sockets with rubber teeth and the original American horn that was installed from the time in these cars and the lubricating pot holder for the original grease pot to the original wiring with the then insulated cables and the color markings. The original Willys cooler with five ribs, the Ford only has three. 
So there are a thousand details. The engine, as it were, is omnivorous. In the original condition, there were no valve seats in it, so that none could fall out. And in the engine with the side valves, that is not that bad. You can usually drive with normal and leaded, so bad gasoline like this one can take no longer exists. It only needs 68 octane when it burns. Original Jeeps from the first generation are much sought after. About 18,000 euros can be paid for a good example, and restoration objects are available for about half of that. The driving dynamics of the Jeep surprise. It is as nimble and quick as a flash over uneven terrain, and only at higher speeds is it its temperament noticeable. The three-speed transmission is perfectly adequate. The long stroke characteristic of the engine leaves no torque holes. The Wheelies Jeep didn't only help the victorious Allied powers, it helped a lot in connection with development aid and is recommended for a variety of tasks, either as a tractor or for forestry operations. And this example even gets to pull trees out from the forest every now and again using its engine-driven winch. And so, especially today, one feels a positive aura from the Willys Jeep. A much usable fun and recreational vehicle. A very good buddy indeed. <laughs>